Once a jolly swagman came by a billabong under the shade of a coolabar tree. And this is where we are. We're at Quamby Waterhole. Just a little bit south of the pub at Kainuna. These water holes were actually built in 1891 by putting stone walls across the floodplains. And this is where the poor old swaggy jumped in and died it, only for knocking off the sheep when the coppers were actually after a bloke for kicking a blackfellow to death. They got the wrong bloke. Didn't they, Jago? That's what the sign says. That's what the story says. And my Travi's there. And Kenny, who killed Kenny? Yeah, <laughs> hey, oh, what's going on here? Right. Oh, Notice that we're all colour coordinated too in our blue jacky house. Can't be side the, can't be beside the water hole under a coolie bar tree without your jacky hair on. And next stop is Kainuna to have a beer. And then the Walkabout Hotel to have a beer. And then Julie Creek to have a beer. And then off to the station. And up jumped that swaggy and jumped into that billabong. Mud and bloods and beer and guts said he. Dive in. <laughs> Dive in, it's not deep. <laughs> See, he didn't actually drown, he broke his neck. <laughs> Just watch out for them snapping turtles. He couldn't have been a good swimmer. I reckon the coppers bashed him over there with a shovel and threw him in. <laughs> Just to say we did it. Oh, branch. Oh. Oh, I found a tree. <laughs> All the scavenger hawks, they know who, who never comes out of the river. That's it, they must know there's a feed on. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky it's, a, lucky it's a 2k walk back to camp. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking you'll, you'll be dry by the time to get back. back. There you go, the boys in the Walsy Matilda waterhole. Well, these belly bongs were formed in 1891 by bringing stone up from Dagworth Station, just north of Winton, and put across the channels. There's about four or five of these. And holds the water back, and there's a permanent water hole through the dry season. Which doesn't hold a lot, because considering this was all on the flood three months ago. Doesn't give in to him, but I'm not with him long enough to care. All hand laid <laughs> and all put in with horse and drays. The bastards were mad in those days. But it is incredible what one man does when he has to do things. Pile all these rocks up over these causeways just for water. Me 
little place by hand. Well, we got Juggy from one water hole to the next, have we? Yeah, that's it. Hey, just all pulled up at the blue healer. Just in case that one breaks. 1.9 degrees. <laughs> Optimal temperature. The famous Kainuna Blue Healer Hotel. Hey, Travi. Parts of Australia you've never seen before. Buddy tourists everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> What's your air conditioner broken? <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. Yeah, it's not a real good trailer for not a long trailer for reversing. Well, we pulled up camp. Had one near Margie's place. And we're way out in the middle of the bush. Um, not quite. I read Margie can run his backyard. Ha ha ha! But they're on 80,000 acres, so it's a big backyard. So uh, we just finished our breakfast at half past one in the afternoon, and the boys are getting organised for our midnight hunt tonight. Juggy got his Juggy got his first cat last night, didn't you, Juggy? What's your first? Oh, first one for the trip. Your first bit of pussy last night. Yeah, see ya. Oh, you got. <laughs> What's left of him anyway? Yeah, oh, yeah. very nice, very nice. Ginger one. A ginger oh, one. Bring a friend. <laughs> I got all the toys out, and they're all playing. So we saw one pig this morning. Had a couple of shots at him, but he was on the run. He didn't want to stop to get shot. But no, nah, it's all good. Sent the boys out for reconnaissance. The bottom of the creek bed. With me elbow and my wrist and my shoulder. Yes. Getting sand out of breaches or marlins is always good fun. Show us your war wound. Show us your war wound when the Indians put an arrow through you. Oh, very good. Pig got me in. Pig gotcha. <laughs> Hello, Margie. Hello. What do you think of these hoons bloody camped in your backyard? Uh, they're hard maintenance, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> High maintenance, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Sand in the breeches. And the barrel, and the magazine. <laughs> This is really camping. As the boys sit down with their newfound friend. Enjoying the bacon and eggs. Rodney over the back. Trevor gets his pig that he just shot, baconed up really quickly. Yum yum, Trev. Well, this is Wednesday. We've seen three pigs so far, but haven't they managed to get a shot away properly. I think we've got one cat. 
1500 miles to get a cat, not too bad. <laughs> Rodney working very hard out there. He's working on the house yard today. Just the, uh, the sheds to house the cars. That's just another house for somebody to stay at. at the work shed. The chook pens. The horse yards. I haven't got many horses on the place, I've only got three horses on it. And a camel somewhere, I haven't spotted it yet. There's a camel running around somewhere. A shed that holds a helicopter. Got the swimming pool. It's like a resort. Tennis courts over the back. It's the main house through there. And that's the schoolhouse where the kids go to school. Although they're not going to school, they're out there riding push push. And it's just the uh, fenced off ball water. It's freezing at the moment. Pretty good for summertime though. That's the property. Shirley and Tom set up. They followed uh, Rodney and Margie over from Lejeune. Tommy's about 61 and Shield's about 65 and they just travel all over the countryside working on properties. <coughs> Margie and Rodney's place there. Head down and bum up, that's what we like to see. Playing with them big good buddy black snakes. You had really good musterers working for you yesterday, didn't you mate? Oh yeah. I had some top musterers. Number one. Only trouble is we Not couldn't. Good pig chases, but... Yeah, shocking pig chases. Good yeah, musterers though. Can't see any of it. <laughs> Martin and kids going down the creek. I'll find them. I know they will. I'll come back and say, we saw them not pigs. I oh, know, I said that to Margie. I said, I'll bash you if you see pigs down there. <laughs> <laughs> the way it is. That's the way it is, all right. Ah. And there's our camp over there. So, so it's, it's a resort swimming pool <laughs> there, is it? Yes, yes, we're coming for our... You've got to have a proper holiday at the five-star resort. Five-star resort, that's yes. right. Yes. Right You're catching fishies, Emmy, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Is it cold? That should be hot, that one. Pretty cold. Is it pretty cold? You want to turn it on? You got to turn it on, Em. And the dog's not allowed in the pool. Oh, it does. It comes to you. Does it? <laughs> Oh, the dog likes it. Ready, Travi, you want a double half hitch with a with a Nelson tie over. <laughs> ah! How is it? <laughs> now you're not allowed to test the water. They <laughs> so even got the sprinklers on to break the water surface for you. No.
Oh, he's giving the chicken out, did he? <laughs> no, he's not allowed to check it out. Oh! <laughs> now, what's the truth, Trav? Is it cold or warm? Watch out for the crocodiles! <laughs> oh. oh. You look out for the crocodile! Marnie, look out for the crocodile! He Here he is! The dog will get the croc! Oh, I'll try to be having fun with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> 